Welcome, everybody. It tastes different. Gaming news. What's in the news today? CD Projekt Red honors a fallen voice actor. CD Projekt Red, uh, creators of Cyberpunk, um, recently detailed uh, the use of AI to uh, do updated voice work for a former voice actor that did voice work in the game, uh, who had sadly passed away at the age of 60. Um, CD Projekt Red used an artificial intelligence to create, recreate the voice of, and I apologize if I mispronunciate, Milagost Res, Resic, uh for the game Cyberpunk 2077, fam, the Phantom Liberty DLC. Uh, Res Rezik voiced Cyberpunk 2077's Victor Vector in the Polish version of the game. Um, he has done uh, a ton of voice work. Uh, Rezik was uh, uh, known for doing a variety of roles, such as uh, Homer Simpson in the Simpsons movie, uh, to Galleon from The Hobbit, Desolation of Smog, and others. Um, this is one of those times that uh, I think AI was used in the right way. You see a lot of bad things in, uh, in, in the world about AI stripping clothes off and terrible, terrible other things. But it can also be used for good. And this is, uh, to me, a beautiful way to have done it. Um, the actor, uh, he passed at the age of 60 battling cancer. Um, and I, you know, I truly understand uh, that. Um, and you know, I'm trying not to get sentimental here. I didn't know the guy, but uh, cancer is kind of a thing in my family. Uh, Victor, for the Polish version of Phantom Liberty, which had already started uh, development, his lines, they took his lines in the base game uh, and they used AI to recreate, you know, the sentences and the and the uh, emotions and all this stuff. Um, it's it's really interesting how these things work. Um, I, I'm not a tech guy. The other two guys who uh, obviously are not here tonight um, due to uh, other engagements, they they could probably detail this stuff a little bit better. Uh, I didn't choose this new subject for the tech. I chose it. For the sentimental value of it, um, I I th think you have certain people that just discern certain roles. You have certain people that they are their character when you think about them. Um, and from what I've understood about uh, this actor, he is you know he's pretty popular there in Poland, uh, and you know it, it's a really interesting and neat that they didn't take him out they didn't remove him they got his family per, his family's permission to recreate lines and use his his voice in this dlc um i would go on the assumption it would be similar to how they did val kilmer and, and top gun maverick uh, how they recreated his voice and then uh, there was also a documentary about Val Kilmer where they used AI to recreate his voice and his monotones and his mannerisms when he uh, of how he speaks, things like that. Uh, so the, the AI part is really interesting, uh, and it's it's really a beautiful thing to see that uh, you know they could have just wrote him out. They could have just just oh well, he's gone. Too bad. Um, they didn't. They didn't take him out. They they kept him in there, you know, they felt he was such a part of their series that they couldn't, you know, they couldn't imagine that character's voice any other way. Um, the gentleman who did, uh, who, who, who passed away, who did the guy in destiny's voice, uh, Lance something. Um, he's been in a lot of movies, very beautiful, very distinct voice. Uh, when he passed away, Destiny announced, uh, you know, they're, you know, I'm so sorry, blah, 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 you know, but then they announced that they are replacing his voice. Um, and I can't remember, uh, who that was. Uh, 
and it saddens me that they did that. I think they could have worked his character out of the game. Uh, um, oh, dang. I wish I could remember that guy. Brian, uh, David Keith. David Keith is his name. Uh, he's replacing his voice. Love David Keith. Great actor. Freaking great in everything he does. And his voice is purely iconic. I mean, he, he's done everything. Saints Row, Halo, so on and so forth. Uh, to me, he was the best. And they live with Rowdy Rowdy Piper uh, when they were uh, fighting the aliens. Uh, they they replaced his his character with uh, David Keith. And I don't like that. Um, I think they should have wrote him out uh, in a good way. I think they should have sent him out with a swan song because he's been doing that voice for a while. He's, you know, he is that character. You, you, you just can't swap characters out like that. I mean, it's not like, you know, Batman. <laughs> you can't just have 40 different actors play him. And there's certain people that are just that character. So uh, that that yeah you know, that saddens me that they did it with him. But uh, I give uh, CD Projekt Red much kudos for uh, giving uh, giving this gentleman his swan song in the game. You know, keeping him there, not taking him out, not just swapping his voice, anything like that. They they did. They're doing their best to make sure that he was in that game, and that's a beautiful thing. Uh, but you know, maybe next time the guys can tell you about how this AI and crap work. I don't know. I don't get it. I'm not smart like that at all. Uh, I just know there's a lot of bad stuff around it and there's some good things and this is one of them. So, uh, I'd, I'd rather see all the good stuff. That's why I kind of wanted to talk about this. One. So, but anyways, uh, it is just me. So it's a shorter episode. Uh, unfortunately the guys can't make it, like I said, so. At least you get the pretty one but anyways thank you for watching make sure you like you share you subscribe you hit those notifications tell me what you think uh, about any of this uh, topic you know between the replacement of voice actors replacement of characters um, uh, the use of AI uh, in and out of games, you know, just what are your thoughts? You know, let us know, let me know. And, uh, but until next time, we'll see you.